Hi, I'm Hans Willem. Today I would like to share with you some of the remarkable prophecies of Alois Illmeyer. Although not as well known as Nostradamus or Edgar Cayce, his unsettling predictions have recently regained attention because of the ongoing events in Ukraine. Who was Alois Illmeyer? He lived in Bavaria, Germany during the first half of the last century and was a dowser and well builder with a gift of seeing and predicting things others could not. For instance, during World War II, he could see which houses would be bombed before it happened. After the war, thousands of wives and mothers came to him to find out if their soldiers, sons, husbands or brothers were still alive or had died during the war. There is a well-documented story that goes that the local priest was upset that every morning long lines of people were forming in front of Alois Ilmeyer's home. He wrote to the Bavarian government and asked them to arrest this man be, since he must be a charlatan, although he did not charge any money for his services. Alois Ilmeyer was arrested and the judge immediately tried to test him. If you are such a good prophet, please give us a description of my home to us. Alois immediately said, I see your wife in a red dress having tea with another man. The judge was highly indignant and immediately called his wife. The papers wrote that he went pale when he heard that Alois Ilmeyer had told the truth. In this trial, Alois withstood many other tests and was finally acquitted. In the 1950s, shortly before he died, Ilmeyer made many predictions about the future. Among others, he predicted the invention of the credit card and the cell phone and many other developments. He even saw the killing of an American president and the collapsing skyscrapers of New York. In the 40s, he saw the climate changes as they would affect Germany in the future. He also saw that America would get involved in many small wars and would not win any of them. He even stated, the great city of the United States will be destroyed by rockets and the West Coast will be invaded by Asians, but they will be beaten back. According to Ilmeyer, events that would precede the Third World War include a rise in great prosperity, followed by a great turning away from church institutions, and then a corruption of morals. The next wave is the large number of strangers entering Germany, which also has happened with all the refugees from Asia, Africa and the Ukraine. And this will be followed by high inflation, even igniting revolutions in some countries. It will be at that time that Russia will make a surprise attack. Almost overnight it will invade Europe, up to the Rhine River, which is in Germany. This war will be stopped by an attack of drones. Now we have to keep in mind that Elmeyer saw this in the 1950s, when nobody knew anything about drones. He described them as thousands of white birds without men, meaning without pilots, come from the hot sands and drop their eggs of death over Middle Europe like Prague. These boxes are full of devil stuff and kill everything alive, as he calls it. And why do they come from the hot sands of Africa? Because that is where America is operating special air bases like in Niger. This drone attack on Middle Europe blocks any future supply to the Russian army and prevents their possible return. These are only a few of Ilmeyer's predictions. There is much more, like the three days of darkness and a polar shift. It is interesting to note that very similar dire war predictions were made by a nun in Italy at about the same time. Her name was Sister Alena Aiello. And here is another little book by Hans Günther Kugler that tells us more about these difficult times ahead and how we have been warned all along. A link is beneath this video. Ilmeyer's prophecies were rooted in the collective consciousness and energy of the world 70 years ago. While the accuracy remains uncertain, it's worth contemplating how we would respond to a sudden catastrophic event such as those predicted. 
In such a scenario, we can draw strength from the powerful spiritual insights and guidance that have been imparted to us over the years. I will delve deeper into these aspects in my next video, so please stay tuned. I'm looking so much forward to see you in my next video.